Hi, this is uh, Steve O'Hare. I'm going to run through the medium term outlook in equity indices. I'm going to start with the Europeans and then move on to the US equity indices. I'll start with the DAX. Now, the DAX in uh, a bit of an ended wedge on a monthly chart. We've seen rejection once again this month of uh, the 13,200 level. Uh, the upward trending support line comes in just in front of the 12,000 level, so still uh, at 800 points lower, but we are forming these shooting star type candles. So um, uh, definitely some uh, pressure building on the shorter term into the medium term picture. That's a monthly chart. We'll have a look at the weekly chart and we can see a potential a head and shoulders formation. This is the left shoulder, the head here, um, and the right shoulder here. We also bullish, posted a bullish outside week, um, and that was the uh, 13,200 level. So also we have a um, potential double top formation, which would be confirmed by a break of 12,537. Uh, again, that would leave a um, have a me measured move target of something in the region below 12,000, it'll be 11,870. So uh, the uh, the bearish pressure is building. Uh, we'll look at this uh, more nearer term, more shorter term chart, the daily. We've got this upward trending support here. Uh, support comes in at 12,775. And a break of this trend line should see the, um, let me just move that to there, should see the uh, losses accelerate. So this is uh, from Friday and today's uh, trading day has accelerated losses lower. So negative on the DAX. Now if we move over to the FTSE, the UK 100, we can see the monthly chart shows the bullish channel that uh, prices remain contained in. This is from 2009 and uh, we're still trading well above the midpoint of this channel. So um, still uh, overall positive. We'll um, move down to the weekly chart and this highlights a shooting star um, a candle which uh, appeared four weeks ago um, and this is uh, seen after a new high was formed uh, around 7,900 uh, price action has been indecisive over the past three weeks uh, with spikes in both directions uh, again last week we saw uh, a rejection of the the rally we're short on a medium term basis on the uh, UK 100 FTSE um, and a break of uh, the the low here of three weeks ago, 75.90. We should see losses accelerate again. So we're not far away from that. So um, be aware of uh, the negative impact of a break below 75.90 on there. On the daily chart, we can see this um, this bullish move higher. Over a nine day period, we had a, a, a D mark. We had a evening star formation on the daily chart form here. That was negative and we've been negative ever since. Now, the real pivotal level has been around about 77.70 uh, in FTSE. Again, we spiked slightly above that on Friday, Thursday and Friday of last week, uh, but rejected and closed lower. We broke this short term trend line, um, but closed just above it. But obviously Monday's price action has been negative and we're looking to target now a break of this 75.90 level. You can see it here um, to, for a move down towards a 38.2% Fibonacci retracement at 7,500. If we look at the uh, FTSE, again, we've got this channel formation. Price is well above the midpoint, uh, but we've got the shooting star candle on last month's price action. So again, slightly negative after posting this uh, seven, sorry, that's a nine year high, uh, almost a 10 year high at uh, 56.58. Uh, prices again have rejected a rally this month also. The weekly chart, we can uh, see that this
previous upward trending support line has been broken above and rallies have been sold after retesting this move. Again, we've had a nine, uh, a Tom D Mark nine count, which is negative. This is also followed by a bearish outside candle and price action since then has been pretty negative. Um, we're holding in just above the uh, 5400 level at the moment, but a break of 5380, we should see price action start to uh, move lower again quite quickly. Let's have a look at the daily chart and we can see again this rally up and the rejection and the correction lower. But uh, we do need a, a break of this. We can see that 53.76. Actually, let me redraw that. Fifty-three, uh, sorry, thirty-eight point two percent fib retracement. It's fifty-three ninety-six. Prices have bounced off this level a few times. We've got the also got the daily Ichimoku cloud. is one of my favourite indicators. So we still remain mildly bullish whilst we are above this cloud. Uh, we should get. Um, we expect volatility to pick up as prices try and test this level around the fifty-three eighty. Um, but a break below the cloud. Uh, which which comes in at 53.50, we should see uh, again losses accelerate. We try and get a few more support levels in here, all the way down to 52.34 and 51.20. So negative, uh, although there are a few hurdles to overcome on this move down. We've if we look down at the Shorter term time frame, the four hour time frame, we've got this bearish flag forming. And again, if we see a break lower this morning, which we've seen already, price action has been uh, aggressively bearish since Friday. The turnaround, uh, if we get a break below the 54 handle, again, we should see this 53.80 tested once more. The measured move target for the bearish flag is a move down to 52.70. So let's move across to the US and we'll look at the Dow, the US 30. This is a weekly chart and we can see that we've got a little bit mixed uh, price action over the last couple of weeks. We had this very bullish uh, move higher after this hammer was posted. Um, but last week, uh, it's more of a negative candle. Uh, most of the trade taking place in the upper half of the previous week's um, candle, uh, but nevertheless, it closed uh, mildly negative and we've seen a bit of follow through this morning. Now we've got this upward trending support line on a more shorter term basis um, and this comes in at 24,820. 24, so a break of there would um, then look for a move towards 24,600, which is the low of three out of the four previous weeks. Uh, and again, plenty of room for a further correction or deeper correction if we manage to break these levels. Looking at the, um, this is a four hour chart. We can see this head and shoulders formation formed and a break off here leaves a measured move target quite close to that now, 24,843. So uh, around about the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. So we wouldn't uh, be surprised if we saw the prices move down a little bit lower, maybe react higher for a uh, for the, before the next uh, sell off. Move across to the NASDAQ now. And again, we can see these uh, trend lines, this area of support that goes back uh, a number of weeks. Uh, and with, this is a daily chart. This bullish hammer posted last week is a negative candle. This has been followed through this morning. And now the trend line that we have to watch is 71.47. So everything that we're looking at at the moment uh, is warning of a potential correction, uh, but we just have to see that uh, deeper follow through on the downside before this is confirmed. The S&P chart, let's go to the, this is the weekly chart. And we can see that this triangle formation, uh, which is a descending triangle formation, which is negative, uh, basically was was uh, pushed through uh, going back on the early May. And we've had sort of, again, 
more positive price action, although last week's candle is a doji. That's a sign of indecision. And since this indecision, we've uh, this morning we've had negative price action once again. If this candle uh, uh, of this week uh, remains negative, we could be looking at an evening star formation, which is uh, very bearish. Let's um, pop up to the pop down to the daily chart. This is an ending triangle formation, and again. It's looking uh, a little bit overdone on the upside. Plenty of room for a correction lower. Uh, Fibonacci levels to look for from this correction. 38.2% coming in at 27.13. Um, but obviously we'd require a break of this uh, upward trending support line at 27.47 to 27.50. Again, uh, we should be seeing tests of these levels this afternoon. Uh, and again, if we get uh, a break of here, uh, lower price action wouldn't be a surprise at all. Um, that's the a wrap of the equity indices. And um, look forward to speaking to you again soon.